Hey, I'm Tyler, or Tannic Alloy, as I'm not online, and I want to contribute to the What Dreams Means to Me community project. In just a couple of words, it, it means a lot. It means quite a bit to me. My anticipation for dreams was pretty great. I had an Xbox 360 with my siblings, um, and we were looking at which console to invest in for the next generation, PS4, Xbox One. Um, and we decided to go with PS4, um, and one of the reasons I voted for it was because of Dreams itself. That and Deep Down, which I've still got my fingers crossed for. Um, about a year before the beta, so a few years later, um, you know, by this point I had moved away from home, I would gotten married, um, but it was, it was part of my daily routine to, to check for the release date of Dreams, uh, to see when we'd get access to the beta. Um, I would tell my wife every day, that, like, there's still no update, but I'm still excited. You know, that sort of thing. And, and I was waiting, uh, just waiting every day. Quite uncharacteristically, I invested, uh, you know, a fair little bit of money into, um, into tools that would be supported by Dreams. You know, I'm, I'm not miserly. Certainly, but you know, I don't typically buy expensive things. I didn't really um, You know, I like the idea of the pro but I didn't think I would ever get it um, but I Was just getting so excited for dreams and I knew I'd enjoy it so much That I sold off some personal assets I invested a little money out of pocket and got um, You know a PlayStation VR and the move controllers and the PlayStation camera so that uh, this would all be supported uh, you know, so I could use this in dreams. Um, then when it, it came out, I, you know, I had just a blast. The, the sculpting tools are, are so, so unique and so, so wonderful. And to be able to do it with motion controllers is awesome. Dual shocks are great too. Um, I had, uh, this ray gun project that I did in Autodesk Maya way back when. I found a Google image of a ray gun and I modeled that out. Um, and that was a lot of fun. And I, I wasn't able to continue my, my uh, use of, of Autodesk Maya um, back when I was a, a teenager. Um, but then Dreams came out and I was like, okay, great. First thing I'm gonna do is model that ray gun that I did way back when. And I did, and it was great and it was so much fun. Um, and I was thinking, okay, what else can I do? So I went around my apartment and I found this um, blender that my wife and I have, and I modeled that up in Dreams, and that was great. And that was a, a good project to, you know, sort of base my my modeling on something that has exact dimensions. And then I decided to have a bit of fun with it, and I added little bits and pieces to make it into a spaceship, and that was cool. And I, you know, I had a lot of fun expressing my artistic side that way. Um, but, but something else that's, that's really important to me is, is music. I play piano. Um, I have for many, many, many years. Um, something that I'll never get tired of playing is, is Those Who Fight from Final Fantasy VII. Advent Children, specifically. Um, and uh, I, I wanted to bring this idea that Dreams has of performance into instruments in Dreams. So I started with something relatively simple. You know, I, I made a trumpet. I had the dual shock, and you know, you'd press different buttons along the top and blow into the microphone that I had attached to the side of the controller. And that would mimic you playing a trumpet. The, the wild thing is, that project kind of got a bit of recognition. And, you know, I, I made this Twitter profile um, to show my family easily my, my projects, you know, I, I don't live at home. I, my family is, you know, eight hours drive away. Um, but I feared if I, I make something online, not only will I be able to contribute to this community in whatever way I end up doing, um, but I can show my family uh, my projects. And so with that trumpet build, I uploaded it to Twitter, just recorded, I think it was nine seconds of video where I'm just kneeling in my living room, controller all ratty looking, <laughs> but it, it showed that like I was playing a trumpet. Um, I, you know, was kind of kind of shy. I'm pretty introverted, typically, um, 
but to have people show interest in that was kind of it was, it was validating um, and so I decided to continue this this instrument uh, project where I'd make different instruments you know, I, I made a, a violin um, I made uh, this bagpipe build and trombone and some other things and I had I had a lot of fun with that but part of what that did for me um, is sort of reinvigorate this this love for the use of logic I, I like using reasoning I like movies that make you think you know um, and using the the logic in dreams to get different effects unconventional effects was was kind of kind of cool kind of fulfilling and surreal and so I, I continued doing that I did other projects that used logic um, someone kind of made this joke challenge of uh, like oh don't give Tanner Calloway ideas he's gonna try to make a heart monitor next and then I thought okay what if I actually tried that and so I took a dual shock and had it sense vibrations and I found the best place to sense the pulse on my body and place a dual shock there and I made a heart monitor um, and you know it's things like that where it's unconventional uses you know I, the, the bow and arrow project that I did and uh, the, the pool table it's it's kind of reinvigorated or not reinvigorated but uh, it's it's reinforced this love of coming up with unique ways to use things and using them in the traditional way is is great don't get me wrong um, but but something that I also love is is just uh, kind of getting out of it more than what was anticipated. I'd regret not mentioning some of my other favorite creators, um, Snags and Half Up and Saku's Mind um, are, are great, as well as Disarmed and Slurms McKenzie and so many others. To, to kind of think that, you know, I'm here in this community with these other people who are just as passionate about creation and expression and playing. It's it's wonderful. the The community is is wonderful to to have gentlemen Tom and Odorian kind of take this initiative to put this project together of you know making a tribute to dreams and what it's meant to us. It's it's wonderful to to be a part of this is so. So great. I'm so excited for the release of Dreams to have even more people come into the community. You know, not to use the cliched phrase, but the more the merrier, honestly. And these, these people who, you know, make assets and, um, you know, put together collections, it's, it's amazing. I, I love Dreams. I love what it's sort of invigorated in me in this expression of creativity you know I, I had desires to do stuff but not the budget and here's this consumer friendly uh, project product that that lets you do whatever you want and dreams is wonderful you know the team at media molecule for creating such a, a wonderful product it's it's surreal it means quite a lot to me. And I love dreams. And I love you guys. Thanks.